All right, let's do some more roulette. Let's take care of uh, some routes on curtains down. Uh, let's, I'm going to do a few today because this level usually ends up being kind of short and sweet, so let's throw a few in here. I might spin the uh, roulette app a couple of times just to see what I get, but let's see if we can get some cool stuff to happen. I already have one uh, to begin with. Let's check it out. Curtains down. Start by heading left and down the stairs and kill the targets using the following methods. The order of kills is free unless otherwise specified. Uh, kill Alvaro with the screwdriver and Richard with the gun. Uh, this one should be pretty cool. It's got a couple of my favorite tricks in it. Let's try to get it taken care of. I'm going to bring the silver baller, and that's it. Uh, this will take a couple of tries, so if you guys see a dancing cat and a duck eating a pizza, you know why. I think you need some help, young man. Man, that guy is a pain in the ass. Let's try it again. Toss a mine out here. That cop in particular right there will see it, and he will take it away to the drop box, and that will allow me to get down the left stairs without getting seen. Or by him, at least. I still have to get by the painter who's coming up, but... He is a one in particular who is being the pain in the ass. All right, I got down here without getting seen this time. This is good. Turn this guy around. And hide here. And allow him to continue. He's going to go through that door, and that will allow me to pick this lock without getting seen. Okay, good so far. Now let's up these stairs and... Behind the stage, there's a cop up here. I want to get out of the way. Let's allow him to see me, and we get a quick knockout here by pushing him down the stairs. All right. Takes care of him. Now, one of the actors is about to walk to the bathroom. I'm going to allow him to pass, because if he sees me, he will chase me up the stairs to where the screwdriver is and not allow me to get it, so I let him pass. Uh, there's a cop and a worker right here. The worker has a screwdriver. The coin will send the cop on his way, and the worker will investigate it. Let's try to get his attention. There he is. Now, he will follow me in here, and this is isolated enough to knock him out and get the screwdriver. Uh, he stops turning around eventually. Oh, the menu cooperated that this time. Usually it starts shifting around all over the place, but... Now, this is one of my favorite tricks to kill Alvaro. I know I could just run in there and probably kill him, but I'm going to do it this way because this is one of my favorite tricks. And I I like showing you guys this kind of stuff, so that's the way I'm going to do it. But Alvaro's in his dressing room right now. I'm going to try to allow him to hear a bullet through the door. Um, Magnum ammo allows you to shoot through doors in this game, so if he's near a bullet impact, he should hear it. Okay, the guard is gone. Let's shoot through the door. Oh, he heard it. Now, he's going to run out of his dressing room and search for the nearest available cop to tell him he heard a bullet. So he is coming up here to tell the cop we just sent away. There he is. Let's headbutt him. And let's stab him with a screwdriver. Yeah, I got one of the funny animations. <laughs> he's still talking, too. That's awesome. All right, now kill Richard with the gun. I'm going to make it simple. I'm just going to shoot him from back here. And this is a known trick. If I can hit him. Uh, his body can go unfound sometimes. Those guys are notoriously blind. I think I'm going to get it. If they if I haven't found him yet, they're not going to find him at all. The cop shooting me would help with that too, but well, how do we do Two kills, six shots fired because my aim sucks. Shots hit one. <laughs> Close combat kills. In my own defense, a lot of those shots were shots through the door to panic Alvaro, but yeah, I missed Richard a few times too. Uh, one headshot. Hey, at least I hit his head. Otherwise, all zeros. That should be Son of Assassin. And it is, 243. Pretty popular misconception in this game is getting shot will blow the Son of Assassin rating. It depends on why you get shot. There are plenty of reasons in this game you can get shot that don't affect the rating, like getting shot for trespassing too long or getting shot for running past a weapons check. As long as they don't see you shoot or attack somebody or knock somebody out or anything that's considered a crime, then it doesn't blow the rating. There are a lot of things in the game that are not witnessable. 
they started shooting there because I was I was running on the stage. And that is a trespassing zone. But that is why they were shooting. Had nothing to do with the rating. Nobody saw me shoot. And that is that. But I'm going to spin the um, roulette app again and try to get something different and see if I can throw another one in here. That is that one. All right, I just spun again. It gave me one of my favorite strats ever. So let's try to get it to happen. This time it's Alvaro with the fiber wire and Richard with the mine. I just toss a mine out right there. That is in a position that can kill Richard from below. So allow this guy to tell me to leave and then try to get shot. Okay, he's shot. That should send Alvaro up this flight of stairs. He should stop right here. And we just got the quick neck snap. Basically, the game doesn't know what to do with the animation, so it'll give you that when you're too close to a barrier or on stairs. Or... Now, let's try to kaboom Richard on the way out. He should be panicking on the side of the balcony right there. Got him. And it's still Silent Assassin. I didn't kill anybody else. How do we do? Two kills, one close combat kill. That was a fiber wire. Otherwise, all zeros. And that is Silent Assassin in 46 seconds. Again, that is one of my favorites. One of the cool things about Roulette is you start seeing things you've done before or um, things that, uh, conditions you've seen before in Roulette. So you start acquiring kind of a repertoire of strategies and tricks. Again, that is one of my favorite routes ever. It's fast, it's short, it's sweet, and it's really cool. Especially the, the mine kill from below, that is a cool setup. Uh, mines can kill targets from a lot of places below. Uh, some not so obvious. There are cool, some cool ones in Death on the Mississippi. Um, there are some cool ones in A New Life. I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, there are others for sure. Uh, again, getting shot in that situation just had to do with trespassing on the stage, and that is why everybody was hostile. It had nothing to do with uh, getting seen doing anything illegal. Uh, that is that one. Again, that's one of my favorites, and I was excited to see it on Roulette, so... I think that's enough for today. Two routes is good. Thanks for watching. This is CJ, and I'm out. See ya!